The latter rung walking task assesses skilled walking and measures both forelimb and hindlimb placing, stepping, and interlimb coordination. The apparatus consists of two clear plexiglass walls, one meter in length and 20 centimeters high. One centimeter from the base, small holes have been drilled at one centimeter intervals. Metal rungs 13 centimeters long and 3 millimeters in diameter are placed at regular or irregular intervals along the base of the walls. The walls of the apparatus can be adjusted to suit the size of the rat being tested. The wall spacing should be narrow enough to prevent the rat from turning around while in the apparatus, but not so narrow as to impede the rat's natural walking movement. One centimeter of clearance on either side of the rat should be sufficient. Each end of the rung ladder apparatus is placed on a transport tub. At one end is a neutral starting tub, and on the other end is the rat's familiar home tub. It may take some time for the test subject to begin and finish a crossing. To keep stress levels at a minimum, the rat should not be pushed or prodded. It is best to let the animal cross at its own leisure. If the rat continually turns around in the apparatus, the walls may be spaced too widely. If narrowing the ladder walls does not prevent the behavior, the tester may place a hand in the crossing channel just behind the rat. To score the rung walking task, a seven point system was devised where each paw placement on a rung receives a score ranging from zero to six. They are total miss, deep slip, slight slip, replacement, correction, partial placement, and six correct placement.